Hi, now, my name is Manush Tulasidas and I'm a social professor in the education track at uh, Singapore Management University. This poster is a work done in collaboration with my colleague Aldi Gunawan of the same university and this is on a cold calls to enhance class participation and student en engagement. By way of introduction, traditionally lecture only mode has been shown to be less effective and has lost its relevance compared to seminar style discourses and group discussions. The problem that we have is in enhancing class participation and thereby student engagement. One solution that we typically use in the classes is cold calling. Cold calling is a process of selecting a student at random to answer a question that the, the professor poses or some other students pose and also inviting them to share their thoughts. In uh, related work, it has been shown that uh, class participation has many key benefits. Life skills enhancement such as uh, presentation skills and uh, confidence, deeper understanding of the course content because you're forced to pay more attention and also increased motivation. In our study, we tried to make a quantitative measure of the effect of cold calling on class participation as well as uh, student engagement. So we have class participation reported by the students themselves and it is actually a graded component in our uh, course and it is measured or self-reported along three aspects. If the students asked a question of the professor or answered a question posed by the professor or if they helped a classmate sitting next to them. So these are the three things that they have to report. The context in which the study is conducted is an undergraduate uh, course on spreadsheet modeling and analytics and it is taught in a seminar style setting and we have roughly between 40 and 45 students per classroom. In the initial implementation of this method, we had a script, a shell script, would pick out a student at random from the class list. But this suffered from uh, the problem of uh, the birthday paradox, which means uh, a student name can be called consecutively. So there is no, there was no mechanism of uh, preventing a student name being, from being called twice in succession. So in the final implementation, we actually took care of that problem and wrote a more extensive Python script. And it also recorded the timings of the calls and all we needed was a measure of the student engagement which came from the self-reported class participation entries. Of course, we noticed that these self-reports may be subject to biases because it's a graded component. The questions, the research questions we're trying to respond to are three. The first one, does call calling enhance student engagement as measured by class participation in class activities? The second question, does the call calling enhance student engagement on a weekly basis or on a per session basis? And thirdly, does it enhance, improve student engagement on a per student basis? So of course, we notice that there are potential biases in the case of self-reported class participation entries, but we can actually kind of nullify its effect by looking at the increase in class participation points when cold called as opposed to their baseline. We have 114 students in three different sections of the course and over the seven weeks we recorded 107 cold calls. For the research question one, we took an average of our class participation entries when the students were cold called and the standard errors on the, the averages were estimated and the hypothesis testing is to see if the population means are equal. The second research question was basically similar to the first question but it was broken down on a weekly basis. In the research question three, we tried to see the difference on a student by student basis. So that was for all sessions and all students. Cold calling does improve student engagement as we measure. Looking at the table here, we can see that uh, the average self-reported class participation when cold called was about 56% as opposed to 51% from all of the students. And the standard error on the difference was about 2.6. So it's 4.6% of improvement with a, a standard error of 2.6. So it's marginally significant. For research question two, the null hypothesis was deemed to be significant for most of the weeks. And research question three also, we could not statistically answer the question because we did not have enough statistics. Looking at the limitations, we had obviously a lack of generalization because we did the study only for one particular course. And in the future work, we plan to improve the generalization. We plan to deploy it to other courses. We will try to make the comparison with, with other methods as well. Conclusion, we have a cold calling system implemented, which by the way, is available to other professors if they want to implement it. The Python scripts will be freely shared and it does improve student engagement as measured by self-reported class participation entries. And that brings us to the end of this uh, poster presentation. Thank you. 
and if you have questions or if you want the quote you can contact me at that email address and if you're bored with all these things you can go to that website which is actually a video on something that is completely different